Okay, a trickier one to explain today. Um, right, hopefully you'll be able to follow my train of thought. Okay, Laurie and Jasmine are selling some cakes. Laurie has 73 more cakes than Jasmine. Laurie sells three fifths of her cakes. Jasmine sells one third of her cakes. They have 250 cakes left altogether. And the question we're asked is how many cakes did they each have at the start? So that's each, okay. Right, so um, we're going to draw something for Laurie and we're going to draw something for Jasmine. Okay, um, and you're just going to have to trust me, I think, at the beginning, because it might not, you might think it doesn't quite make sense. But what I'm going to do is to draw um, a block of um, fifths, okay, for Laurie. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, okay. There we go. That's a block of fifths for Laurie. And I'm going to draw this same size block for Jasmine. Okay, bear with me. I know Jasmine and Laurie don't have the same. Okay, and um, what I'm actually going to do is to... Um, because here I'm dealing with fifths and here I'm dealing with thirds, I'm going to divide into fifteenths, okay? So, okay, so bear with me. So, because I've got fifths and thirds, I'm going to choose to work in fifteenths okay and why am I doing that because that gives me equal size portions to work with okay and um, so what's Jasmine so Jasmine we're working in thirds remember so one two three four five so there's a third one two three four five there's the second third okay so there we go All right, okay. And I can hear you shouting, but Laurie has 73 more than Jasmine. Now, I could add that onto here, okay? Um, but I find it easier to explain if I do it a, a, in a slightly different way. So I could add the 73 onto here, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add the 73. Um, shall I do it in a, I might do it in a different color. I'm going to add the 73 onto the, the top of lorries. Okay, so I'm now, there we go. This is the extra bit. Okay, so you might have expected me to draw something like this where, let's say there's a block for Jasmine and a block for lorry and then you've got this extra bit, that's the 73, okay? But, and, and I could do that, but actually what I've chosen to do is to distribute that 73 all along this main block, okay? So these bits are all the, the you know, this has the sa still the same value as this. The size of this portion is irrelevant, okay? It doesn't have any, um, it, it, it's not in proportion with the rest of the model, but that's something that you know in your mind when you're doing it. Okay, and I'm going to divide that there. Okay, so this bit in green is 73. Okay, so now what? Right, so what happens? Um, Laurie sells three fifths of her cakes and Jasmine sells one third of hers. So Laurie sells three fifths and I'm going to cross out then three fifths here and that includes th this extra part. Okay, there we go. So as well as three of these blocks, it's three of these little blocks, each of which is a fifth of 73, yeah? 
Um, and then jasmine, there we go. That's what jasmine sells, okay? And what do we know then? That it, what they have left is 250, okay? I'm going to use another color then to show that, here we go, everything left is 250. So that includes all of these, these, and these two here are all 250. And now, um, sorry, add up together to make 250. And now hopefully you can see that we now have a way of working out what the value of each of these. Because we need to take, we need to find out what is one fifth of 73. Okay, so um, 73 divided by 5 gives us 14.6. So each of these is worth 14.6. So each of these little blocks is worth 14.6. Okay, um, and we have two of those. So we want 14.6 times 2. Okay, and that gives us... 29.2 okay so so this these two 29.2 okay so if we know that all of that is 250 we can see that we need to take 29.2 away from 250 so 250 subtract 29.2 okay gives us 220.8 okay so now I know that all of these and all of these equal 220.8 and how many do we have okay so this is 5 um, 10 16 all right, so 16 of these little blocks. So I want 220.8 divided by 16, okay? And that gives us, and you'll have to trust me, 13.8. So each of these, okay, is 13.8, and that now we can work out the rest of the model, okay? So if we have 13.8, if we multiply that by um, 15, okay, the original am amount here is 15 of those. So 13.8 times 15 equals 207, okay? So this equals, I'm going to choose a different color here just so this is 207 this is 207 um, so Jasmine so Jasmine had 207 cakes but Laurie had the 207 plus 73 okay which is 280 so Laurie had 280 cakes all right okay I hope that makes sense obviously I could have just in, in I could have you know added this block onto here and divided that into um the fifths and cross them out and things. I just think it's easier to see when you stick it on the top. You can see why that works. Well, I hope you can anyway.